You know what this situation reminds me of? Jeffree Star is kind of like one of those parents who screws up their child and then they're absolutely baffled about how their child got screwed up. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about why I believe Jeffree Star owes James Charles an apology and we're also going to dive in to some psychology towards the end of this video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at the YouTube community, all of this drama going on, and take this mess and turn it into a message. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, I, I've made plenty of videos but I guess I'll make a disclaimer for anybody who's new. Like James Charles did some scummy things, he did. But I just wanna talk about the hypocrisy in the community, all right? One of the things that is so, so awful about cancel culture, and I'm just so against cancel culture, and that's one of the, the reason I'm making these videos, it's like, when these things go down, it is so easy, it is so easy for us to take this insane moral high ground when the entire community is just crapping on somebody, right? And James Charles is losing millions of subscribers, so it's so easy for people like Jeffree Star to take this moral high ground like he's Mother Teresa or something, all right? So the reason I'm making this video is because another YouTuber, another commentary channel by the name of Marky, he just posted these old tweets from Jeffree Star over on Twitter, all right? Check these out. Hey, what's up everybody? I was in the editing process and I was like, wait a second. With all the false news about James Charles being spread around, I wanna confirm this. So I am trying. I was trying to find like confirmation that these tweets I'm about to show you actually came from Jeffree Star and were on his account. And it's taking some digging and I see a lot of people tweeting about this and sharing it. So just full disclaimer, real quick, this is not something that's been confirmed. Now, something that's been brought up to me multiple times is Jeffree Star has the money to kind of scrub things off the internet. Like when I was looking for racist clips of him the other day, it was very, very hard to find those. But anyways, um, if for some reason it comes out in the future that these tweets are incorrect, I will make a retraction video, all right? I've had so many straight boys naked that I think I deserve a Lifetime Achievement Award. Straight guy number 2,365 down. Ha ha ha, thanks. Who else wonders how big Justin Bieber's D is? Now, if you pay attention, if you pay attention to cancel culture, everybody is okay with a behavior until they aren't, all right? Like something, something that I just cannot express enough is just, how against hypocrisy I am. Like, if there's a lesson, one of the many lessons that I'm gonna, you know, implement with my son, it's like, don't be a, don't be a hypocrite, all right? Like, I am a recovering drug addict. I am a recovering alcoholic. I'm coming up on seven years clean and sober next year, all right? And like, something that happens in the recovery community is that you see people who got sober forget where they came from and they look down on newcomers. They look down on them like, oh my God, I can't believe you did these terrible things. Now, it doesn't happen It doesn't happen often, but when I see people doing that, I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me right now? Like, something that any of us need to do as mentors, as parents, even hell, as friends, we need to never forget where we came from. Like, look at those tweets. Look at those tweets. Like, when this whole thing happened and Jeffree Star was like exposing James Charles and then he like deleted his tweets and everything, I knew that something wasn't sitting right with me, all right? Because I know, I know that Jeffree Star is so vocal to millions of people on YouTube, on Twitter, on Snapchat, on Instagram, about how sexual he is and everything like that, right? And when people were turning against James Charles, like the first time I got this red flag was around Christmas time when James Charles made some like kind of sexual tweet, okay? And everybody was freaking out on him. And I remember thinking like, well, he hangs out with Jeffree Star all the time. Is that possible he's rub it off on him a little bit, right? But Jeffree Star was on Twitter bragging bragging about turning straight men. Now, these tweets are from nine years ago, okay? So Jeffree Star is in his early 30s, so nine years ago, he was still older than James Charles is today. But, 
But, and like, no, <laughs> like, this is something more serious, but like, like Marky pointed out in that tweet that, he's, that he had, like, Jeffree Star was a 24 year old gay man publicly tweeting about Justin Bieber's package when Justin Bieber was 16 years old. Okay, so when we take a look at this situation and the mob just going after James Charles, like we all need to take a step back and look at what's really going on in everybody's past and everybody's history, okay? This is why it is just so freaking brutal seeing these people turn their backs on James Charles. Like how many people, how many people do you think have been or were telling Jeffree Star that he needs to get his act together? Right? Like, when, like if you look into Jeffree Star's past, he was running around just running amok. And I've made videos about this in the past because I definitely empathize with Jeffree Star. Like, when I look at Jeffree Star's past and the pain and the hurt that he was going through, the depression, the anger issues he had, I'm like, yeah, dude, I get that. I get that, right? And that's why I'm like, okay, cool. Jeffree Star is being a mentor to younger beauty gurus coming up and everything like that. But to see him turn his back on people, like, what? Like, the odd audacity, the audacity of people like Jeffree Star to turn on James Charles. Like, is it possible? Let me just, let me just present this real quick. Is it possible that Jeffree Star has been a bad influence on James Charles and James Charles is the monster that people like Jeffree Star created? And again, like the double standards and the hypocrisy, like Jeffree Star, like if you think, if you just sit back and think, why, why do so many people love Jeffree Star? All right, and one of the reasons, one of the reasons is that Jeffree Star is an absolutely ruthless businessman. He is ruthless. The dude is making millions upon millions upon millions upon millions of dollars and just flaunting it. And is there anything wrong with that? I don't really care, right? But James Charles, you have seen him publicly tweet all the time about how he is a ruthless businessman, how he, you know, sets certain prices, how he doesn't uh, short, uh, you know, short himself when making brand deals and everything like that. And people are looking at James Charles like, oh, you egotistical kid. Now, don't get me wrong, I understand that. He's a he's a 19 year old kid, and like as a you know 33 year old man who has had to work very hard and everything like that, I can see like oh this kid needs to go through some hard times and everything like everything happening happening to James Charles right now. Cool, this dude is gonna learn a valuable valuable lesson. Hell, Tana Mojo, she hasn't put on another Tanacon or announced another Tanacon after all that happened, right? So he's going to learn from this and he's gonna grow. But just what absolutely makes me sick to my stomach is people like Jeffree Star turning their backs on him. And here's the other thing that's not sitting well with me, all right? Tati Westbrook and Shane Dawson. Now, they both uh, came out and said, yo, let's chill out just a little bit. And it's cool, it's awesome that they did that. And I'm glad that they did do that. But here's the issue that I have, is that Jeffree Star does things like this all the time, all the time. But when, it, when it's Jeffree Star, everybody just sits around like, ha ha, that's just Jeffree. You know what I mean? And then when James Charles is doing anything in the same realm, it's like, oh my God, how are you doing this, James Charles? Like, why, why are we judging people different? Like, why are, we holding, why are we holding people to certain standards, but not others? It doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? And like, like I mentioned, like the weird thing about cancel culture is everybody is okay with a behavior until they're not. Like this isn't new. Like James Charles like flirting with straight boys is not new. Like all the times he hung out with the vlog squad or the Dolan twins or anything like that, everybody's like, ha <laughs> ha, that's just James Charles. But then the second, the second Tati Westbrook says that it's not okay, everybody's like, you know what? You're right, like where is the independent thought in this society? Like when are people going to become independent thinkers? Now, like I mentioned, when it comes to Jeffree Star and James Charles, let's talk a little bit about psychology, okay? There's a psychology of expectancy theory, all right? And what this is, is that 
we have expectations of certain people and we expect them to toe certain lines, right? And there's one of there's one main reason why people like Jeffree Star and Tana Mojo and other people in the community, they always get these free passes because this is who they are. And people are like, oh, that's just them acting crazy, being all sexual, running amok, causing chaos, you know, or whatever it is. Like Tana Mojo filmed a dead body, Tana Khan went down the dumps, right? Like she's had so many controversies over the years, and Tana Mojo has never ever, ever receive backlash like this, all right? But people hold James Charles to a much higher standard. And there's the excuse, well, well, James Charles has a younger audience. Like, do you guys know who Tana Mojo's primary demographic is? Like, again, like James Charles screwed up. James Charles needs to learn a lesson. But the crazy thing to me is, is how people are just not seeing how so many of these situations overlap. Right? And people are like, oh yeah, Jeffree Star is right about this. Like, look at Jeffree, what was Jeffree Star doing when he was 19 years old? So to see these people going after this 19 year old kid, it's just, it's just crazy to me. Cancel culture is one of the worst parts of our society today. And it's because people completely, completely neglect logical thinking in these situations. So the point of my videos is to help you take a step back and maybe look at these things from a different angle, all right? But anyways, that's all I got from this video. Let me know what your thoughts down on, uh, in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you'd like to support what I'm doing here, get your name on the credits, get involved in our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.